We're now going to look at categories in Gradebook and see if we can put together some categories and reorder a few things based on our document that tells us what we need to actually have for all of our assignments. Now, if you're not sure what that is all about, then I will show you. So this is what our Gradebook completion looks like, or our Gradebook and completion. So there's two parts here, but we're only going to look at the category section at the moment and see if we can divide our five tasks into the three stages that we've decided are the way we want to break up our content or our break up our grading in our gradebook. So we need to create stage one, stage two, stage three and put our tasks in there. Let's go do that. And we're going to go to gradebook setup. In gradebook setup, you can see here we have our five tasks. There they all are. Nice and simple. I'm going to sit them side by side to make this easier for you. You can see we have task one and knowledge quiz and it's got to be in stage one. That's the section it's going under. So we need to add a new category. So we'll choose add category. We'll call this category stage one. We're not going to worry about all the settings involved in the categories yet. We're just going to get them set up first and we'll leave them all as natural aggregation because we don't need to change any of that. So let's save changes. We've now got our stage one category. Let's move that right to the top up here. So to do that, we click on it and then we click where it needs to go to. It would be nice to have drag and drop added to that. I keep forgetting that's not part of it yet. Then we, we're adding task one and task two into stage one. So let's move task one into stage one, task two into stage two. There we go. And that gives us a title now for our stage one section. Then we need to create a stage two. So let's add a new category. We'll call it stage two. Save changes. Let's move that up to here. And in stage two, we need to have task three. Goes in stage two and task four goes in stage two. And then our last stage, stage three, has in it our task number five. So let's create our last category. Stage three, save. And for stage three, we're going to put task number five inside stage three. There we go. So we now have everything all in the right location. Now that we've got everything in order, you can now see we have stage one with our two tasks, stage two with our two tasks, and stage three with our one task. What this allows us to do is to create totals based on weightings for each of these stages, if we need them weighted as stages. In our little experiment here, we're not going to worry about weightings for stages, we're actually going to just do weightings for each of the items. But I wanted to show you the quick and easy way to create those categories, how to put things in there. Further on, we'll look at the rest of the gradebook and how we're going to sort of tidy all of that up. First of all, there's the categories and that's how you add them.